Coming up on this, our 25th episode of NSFW, we are joined by none other than the Liege himself, King Leo, as he defends his throne against the Usurper. That's coming up on this episode of NSFW right now. Jazz hands. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 25 for May 25th, 2010. The Trials of King Leo. It is go time for the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. It is none other than NSFW. Star yours truly, Mr. Brian Brushwood. I put the BB into the NSFW, and I'm joined, as always, by my inimitable... Uh, a brightly lit co-host, Mr. Justin Robert Young. What's up with me being able to see you there, Jerry? What's going on there? Oh, well, I decided to turn some of the, uh, the the lights from our Weird Things TV set uh, over here, and now uh, I actually look like a human being. So well, and what's, funny, what's funny is, like, literally the answer is, well, Brian, I decided to turn the lights on for once. Yeah, I decided <laughs> to actually uh, take uh, take my set somewhat seriously, so now uh, <laughs> it's not just like I'm a murky apparition appearing from a depthless void. Well, and most importantly, we are joined by none other than the self, uh, I don't say self-appointed, he was elected in a fair election, but it, it no, is... Uh, no, I think this is a kingly birth. Birthright. You know what? <laughs> Sitting in his stately manner, it's none other than the president of the internet himself, Mr. Leo Laporte. How are you, Leo? I am very well, Brian. How are you, sir? <laughs> oh, I love these publicity events where you come down and you pretend to be one of the normal people. Oh, it's the best I could do. <laughs> and by the way, for everybody listening on audio, Leo is literally sitting in a palatial book room. In a uh, on a, a throne, it's clearly throne. a throne, and 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 a dog, a finely bred uh, companion in his yes. lap. As, as he uh, <laughs> yes. looks very, you missed very it earlier, he was licking his balls. So you missed. <laughs> Yeah, you missed the best part. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, look, let's not let's not pussyfoot around here, Mr. Justin Robert Young. We've got uh, some important news to give to our liege, Mr. Uh, King Leo Laporte. There is a threat in the kingdom of Twit. Tell us about it, Justin. Justin? Brian, here's the <laughs> deal. Confused. There are murky pools of evil clumping up as we speak. It's no need hiding this anymore. And if we have Leo on the show, then we have to deal with the fact that there are, you know, there, there, there are people out there who would like to usurp, usurp the power usurpers. of king of the internet. Usurpers. Oh, that's yeah. shocking. And then right out there, there are barbarians at the gates. And in oh, fact... Dear. In fact, and and I don't want to claim I I hate to, I hesitate to give this any credence, but apparently we found an old scroll and there's some bylaws of the kingdom of the internet and some of the protocols of what it takes to be in charge of everything. Somebody's challenged you, Leo. Somebody has. I won in a fair election. I don't think that's right. I we agree. We could not agree with you more, sir. But this we, we are but humble servants of King Laporte. And that's the I problem. Agree. And and so the problem you are is definitely butt humble. We are butt humble <laughs> servants of butt Cuba, and so we need to we need to, to. It was our idea that we would do our best and we would move to quash this motion to destroy yes. the usurper yes. once and for all. Destroy but the really, usurper. We can only be sherpas. It is your mountain to climb, my liege, and we are only going to be able to help you do it. And so, with that in mind, King Laporte, I hope you are prepared to defend your throne and the honor ready. of the Twit Cottage itself, the Twit Castle itself. I have the Holy Unicorn with me. I'm ready. Okay, well then, let us bring you're going to bring out the Holy Unicorn, aren't you? Yes, the Unicorn, <laughs> and I'm going to sprinkle the tears like, on you. It'll be right there, <laughs> just in case. We need I him. love I love that I, I want to pretend that Unicorn is one of your vanquished foes since literally it is a head on a tray. <laughs> so it is. It, this that's looks where I like, put them after I'm like, done with them. All right. This looks like something that like the Candyland mob would leave in an enemy's bed to show them they made business. 
<laughs> With that in mind, then I say we get this thing started. Let the epic journey begin. Yes. With the facing of the enemy. Surprise, Leo. It's me, Tom Merritt, host of the new Daily Tech News Panel Show. What? Tech today, starting June 1st on TwitLive.tv. I'm here to steal your power unless you complete these four trials. <laughs> <laughs> the Trials of King Leo. <laughs> Challenge 1. Current events. You heard it from the man himself. It's none other than a battle of wits in current events. In order to proclaim that you are truly our liege and master of the domain, you yes. must demonstrate your knowledge of current tech events. And to that extent, we have to begin this trial, not against us, for we are your humble servants, yes. but against those rabble rousers, the people, the, the internet itself, you will have to crush them in a manner that we like to call what's how's that go justin well i'll tell you what i think we should leave it to one of the mystical characters which romps around this very internet uh go ahead brian I'll I'll let him <laughs> there's only one way to settle this and we need to have a blitz quiz where we call random volunteers from the land uh -huh. of the internet and they face off against you in a battle of wits for who knows the most? That's what your vanquish is. I got the unicorn, is. baby. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Justin, as always, will serve as the quiz master for the Blitz quiz. Indeed, sir. And so we're uh, going. Oh, go ahead. All right. Well, here's how it's going to go, Brian. I'm going to ask Leo a question. If, Leo, you can answer this correctly, you will get one point. Should you not okay. be able to, we will have to go out to the Internet to see if they steal that point. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. Let me ask my faithful manservant for another pair of cider, though, before we begin. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. The meat has been fetched, and the questions yes. commence. Yes. King Leo, Steve Case, told an audience at TechCrunch Disrupt that when he was in charge of AOL, he almost bought this search giant for $2 million. Leo. He's told this story before, and, of course, the answer is Google. Justin? As we wait for him to open the soundboard? Just, Justin? That was a little too fast. I'm sorry. Let me think some more. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. There we go. No, unfortunately, that is incorrect, which means that we have what? to go to the internet. Uh, Brian, please, somebody ring the Blitzquiz chime. Oh, my goodness. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call right now. we got a volunteer. This is David we're going to be calling. We're calling him right now, and we have to... Bring him in. We'll see if this works. No, no way this could go wrong, right? Wait for it. He's Googling it right now. <laughs> That's not fair. Wait for it. Come on. Answer the phone. Hello? You are being called as you try to usurp the power from King Leo. Answer this question. Steve Case told an audience at TechCrunch Disrupt that when he was in charge of AOL, he almost bought this search giant. David? Uh, Yahoo? Justin? Could you hear me? Oh, my God. A, 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 a already a horrible defeat. <laughs> for, for King Leo. Oh, is that, oh my God. But by the way, well, wait, were we supposed to hear something just then, Justin? Because we did not hear anything. Did that not it was just dead silence. No. Yeah. <laughs> and what's funny is like you totally reacted like we were supposed to hear something amazing. I was wondering why you were making fun of me for not playing that soon enough the first time. Because I thought I was pretty quick. <laughs> you got to turn on the thing. No, All right. it was on. Uh, the yes. unicorn is there we crying go. now. There we go. The unicorn's crying jelly bean tears out of frustration. Oh, no. for the oh, fail. No. Now you made the unicorn cry, Internet. Are you happy, Tomas <laughs> Marine? Uh, look, look, Leo. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to scare you here at all. But this is, this is. They're already up one point. We can't. All right, all right, all right. It's just we, one point. It's we've invested point. a lot of time and effort into you. Shall we hit up with another one, Justin? Or shall uh, we? Deep, shall we go to the audience? This one goes out blitzquiz wise. That's right. We do. Uh, since just uh, since uh, Leo got to go first, now it's up for it's the internet turn. to go first. So I Marie's will go ahead. Minions. I'm gonna pick. Uh, we'll pick Mike, longtime listener of the show. I assume since he knew to put in his name here. Let's give Mike <laughs> a call and see how he fares in the blitzquiz face-off. As we wait, there it is for the connection. 
All right, Mike. Bring it. Bring it. Show us some love. Hello. Mike, you have no soul and you're willing to take a good man's power. Please answer this question. New court documents show that in 2007, Google offered this media company $500 million, $500 million. <laughs> so clips from their shows could run on YouTube. <laughs> Five hundred million and ninety-two cents, right? Ninety-two cents. Five hundred million ninety-two. <laughs> and I, I have no clue. <laughs> is that correct? I have no clue. Is that correct? Ah. So that means it goes to Leo for the steal. Leo, you want to hear the Wait, question I, again? I will repeat the question. Yes, I know the question. Let like me hear what Unicorn says. What? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> he says that can't be right. Viacom. Yes. <laughs> Oh you, oh, you hit it too many times there. You were so excited. It's just, no, oh, no, it's just too much right in one moment. Awesome. Okay, so good. All right, Leo. Leo, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're back in the game. One to one. Internet one, Leo one. Let's keep this going. I believe the next round goes to Leo Laporte. Is that correct, sir? Certainly does. All right. The CEO of what tech company wrote a Washington Post editorial explaining recent controversial actions by the site. He's consulting. No, I, don't, I don't think it's fish from uh, Barney Miller. I believe the answer is Mark Zuckerberg. Justin, is he right? Oh, look at that. He that certainly is. He's stomping them. Two to one. S suck it, Internet. <laughs> suck it, Internet. <laughs> All right. We might have, we might have uh, not said that this is a first to three. So Leo is now only one away from completing his first challenge. Oh, this is exciting. Leo, I could not be more proud to be your, your humble servant at this moment, King Leo. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I've lost my neck and I've gained a crotch. I don't understand. There's some sort of strange... You know what? If you're going to make there a trade... Go. The true sign of royalty. <laughs> <laughs> judge, judge not your liege by his neck, but by the size of his crotch. That's the cod piece that makes the man. <laughs> not the man who makes the cod piece. No! <laughs> this one goes back out to the internet. So that means we've got to pick somebody here for, okay, we got, oh, that's somebody we already had. And I'm going to pick somebody different. Got it. We got somebody picked out. You got a question ready to go, Justin? I certainly do. Well, then let's give this guy a call and rock his day. Assuming he even remembers that he volunteered. I'm always afraid somebody would be like drunk when they gave us their phone number. They'll be like, who's this again? <laughs> See how this goes? And, and and cue the answering. And we're go for answer. And the answer is, and this is the part where we'd like to remind you that you promised you would be by the phone. Hello. 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 You pledged allegiance to Tomas Marit, and now you will answer this question. This is the latest rumored telecom to be getting the iPhone in 2010. Verizon? Verizon, is that correct, Justin? <gasps> no, that's not right, it's not Verizon? It is not, that, it is, uh, I will stress again, the latest telecom. Oh my goodness, that means it goes, to, it goes to King Leo. King Leo with the chance for the steal. So long, sucker. And, and also the win. I, I will point out. Oh my gosh, this is it. What Leo, happens if Le I get this wrong? Uh, well, th let's not even talk about that because <laughs> pretty sure the question? script says you need to win this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did not write a script where you lose the kingdom of the internet. Well, there aren't many. Now, let me, can I ask a, quali a, a qualified question? You're talking in the United States. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because obviously care. there's many correct answers if it's not the U.S. In the yeah. U.S. it could only be, and I'm not answering here, I'm just... You're talking, talking it out. Talking, talking it out. out. Regis Philbin style. I like this. This is good. T-Mobile. It could be Sprint. It could be AT. No, they already have it, and Verizon already has it. No, uh, uh, Verizon's uh, already already out. Like they don't. Already out, they ain't gonna so, get it. Yeah. So, oh, I. Oh God, did I just. Oh, my NDA. I'm. <laughs> I said that. So, I'm gonna say Sprint. Justin. Oh! 
my liege. You've done it. You vanquished our first foe. Oh, my goodness. I cannot even, what, what do you suppose, Tomas Marich, that usurper, the demon in a body well, of a hold money? On, hold on, wait, uh, Brian, before we move on what? to the second challenge, I do just want to, in celebration, it is such a joyous time, Brian. I want to ask King Leo <laughs> one more question that was uh, printed on the sacred scroll. Oh, yeah, why the heck? Oh, right. He's, he's already question. locked just it in. Kind of a bonus round. Yeah, why a not? bonus round. Uh, bonus round. Which blogger was told to F off by Yahoo CEO Carol Bartz? Screw you, Mike Carrington! <laughs> Screw you! There it is, dude. <laughs> As he bounces on his chair. All right, <laughs> this is it. So let me take, so we take it to your face, Mr. Tomas Marie, you usurper. What do you say to that? Very clever, Laporte. But just like Tech News Today debuting June 1st, a new day is dawning for Twit with me at the helm. Minions, attack! Challenge 2, Tech Knowledge. Now look, this was not my idea. This was what was written in the Sacred Scrolls, Leo. Apparently, word's gotten around you host a little show on the radio, on the non-internet's radio, where you proclaim to be some sort of tech guru or tech, tech fella, some kind of tech guy. I know my stuff. I know a little bit. I've been around. I can answer some questions. Well, here's the thing. Oh, your humility abounds, Leash. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> Allow your, your self-awareness, your self-deprecation to wash over us like a clean, yes. cool fountain of fresh spring water, sire. Continue oh, to suck quite, up, oh, my quite, minions. Sire. You are doing so very well. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is this is actually a good sign. This is like when your stock goes up because it means we're pretty sure you're going you're gonna to pass this thing remain king of the internet. <laughs> yeah, I think I won, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's take hey, it up. by the way, did you have to get Tom Merritt to record both winning and losing bits? Listen, such is our belief in you, my liege, uh -huh. that we never even uh -huh. recorded losing yeah. bits. Yeah, you better not. <laughs> That better not show up on YouTube. That's all I can say. <laughs> all, right, all right, listen, real quick, Justin, listen, you and me, we got to record yeah. a bunch of these and act like they happened before tonight. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, uh, listen, Justin, you're going to set up the next level of questions about general tech knowledge while I get us a victim on the phone. Fair enough? And I'm uh, saying this slowly and weirdly because hopefully you're, you're <laughs> logged into the email and you can find the tech <laughs> questions <stalling>. on there. <laughs> yes! Oh, Brian, don't worry. I have this all under control. <laughs> That's what right. a silly question. All right, listen. Meanwhile, we're going to get uh, our next contestant on the line to take on Leo Laporte. Oh, you internet, you ungrateful peasants, you peons. Bow before I your lead. Spit on you. <laughs> Hello. This is Nick. Nick, you swine. You <laughs> spineless piece of jelly. Please answer this very easy tech question. What does PDF stand for? PDF? P that's, that's, that's like Peter uh, Delta Foxtrot? Indeed. Okay, yeah. PDF. Yeah, what does it stand it. for, oh. Nick? You no serpent. Googling! Yeah, hands up. But Cuba. <laughs> but Cuba. Uh, is but Cuba the right answer, Justin? Uh, final answer, that No, it is oh, not. Get out of here. Hit the bricks. Get out of here. <laughs> but Cuba's a good answer. That's <laughs> right. By the way, real quick, can I put the, the entire show on pause? Did, did, did you ever hear about what the but Cuba was? No, I know it's your it's your your code word right. like your Baba Booey, but what is it? Well, okay, so but Cuba, <laughs> the the way we got it, you remember last time we had Tom on the show, uh, Justin and I acted out the scripts as written by by the Google uh, auto translate oh, on YouTube. Oh yes, those are funny. Yeah. But Cuba was the uh, I believe the full line was uh, was but Cuba. We're going into reruns. So, <laughs> when the, which was the last thing from, from your exchange with Mike Errington. So, so, Cuba, so we're going into reruns. But Cuba, we're going into reruns. Oh, so I said it. You That's said good. it. That's you. Like, it, it, is, it is your quote. But Cuba, we're going into reruns. We had to, we had to bleep it on the actual podcast, but it's but Cuba, we're going into reruns. Yeah, uh, yeah. Get Melba, get me some more toast. <laughs> All right, Justin, this one goes to what? To, to King Leo, right? 
Uh, yeah, do we do another it's question? Same question. Or the same I have question? the answer. Would you like to hear it? Oh, whoa, whoa. This is the chance for the steal. Of course, my liege. Yes. Steal away, sir. PDF stands for public display of freaking. No, that's wrong. Wait, that's wait, wrong. wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> that's not my final My liege, answer. my liege, you frighten us, sir. Sire. <laughs> stands for portable document format. Portable document format. Oh. What a relief. What a relief. Now, I do believe this one has to be uh, two out of three as well, correct? This one's shorter, Indeed. but there's more intense. And also, these are escalating in difficulty. Oh, well, my thank goodness. Thank God, because that was just too easy. That w <laughs> Apparently, it was not too easy for Nick, apparently. But Cuba! But Cuba! All right, let's do this. I'm going to kick it up to... Here we go. We got Tom from Maine. Do you know anything mm. about Maine, Justin Robert Young? I have his toothpaste. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Leo, do you have anything to say about Maine? Oh my goodness, you know, that's this is a brand, Tom from Maine. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is a prank caller. Maybe we'll get to have our first prank caller on the show. If he says, but Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, this is Leo's turn, Brian. I start. Oh, well then, get, get out of here, Just but Cuba. <laughs> but Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, but Tom. This one goes to Leo. <laughs> All right, go for I'm it. I'm going to get this wrong just to make it exciting. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. This is, uh, by the way, our new segment called Tony Cut This Out of the Final Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the, uh, the next question, which goes to Leo, has come to us from Micah. So Micah. I want you to imagine this is this is a caller to to your the tech fella show. Ah, and and so Micah and so, in Muncie. Go ahead, Micah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. What is the difference between Turing complete and Turing equivalence? Ooh, that's 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 T O U R or T U R? T U R I N G. Turing complete and Turing equivalence. I think I know this one, actually. Ah, the furrowed brow of a wise and noble leader. By, by the way, not, not to indicate my liege that I in any way would know something that you would not know in all of your uh, humble it. greatness, watch sir. It, right, sire, Brushwood. sire. Why is your tongue, tongue name Brushwood. Is. Watch it. <laughs> um, I believe, but this is actually a guess, that Turing complete would be the inability to distinguish between man and machine, and Turing equivalent... Would be no Turing complete would be mistaking, uh, mistaking a man for a, a machine for a man. Turing equivalent would be not being able to tell the difference. I this is a nail biter. I have no idea. Justin, Justin, from Wikipedia, Turing completeness, a computational system that can compute every Turing computable function that is Turing complete or Turing no, powerful, or Turing completely. Complete, such a system that is one that can simulate universal Turing machine is Turing equivalence. A Turing uh, complete system course. is called Turing equivalent if every function it can compute is also Turing computable, i.e. it computes precisely the same class of functions as you do. Boo machines. this explanation! <laughs> it's taking no, you know forever! What? You know what? I was confusing it with a Turing test. You're you know what? I, I thought yeah. the same thing. I thought, uh, you know how it's like uh, they do they do softy rules for the Turing test that we do now right. where it's right. on a limited subject that's and then that's yeah, yeah and then yeah, whereas yeah. The, the, the theoretically oh my goodness does that mean does that mean it's one to one Justin is that is that no, what no, really no, no, no. we we go to the, the, the guy uh, on the we go to the internet phone oh now okay okay sure. good okay all right all right so we got a chance oh thank goodness I was a little bit Let's totally watching I was we, totally we, scared Justin's already read the second. answer though uh so oh wait we already gave the answer I guess what we're going to yeah we're going to have to give them another question all right we'll give them another harder question you hear that Merrick come up with that piece of crap question? That's right. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, he did. How quickly? Like, no, he didn't tell me there'd be math. How cl quickly you turned against Tom Merritt. Son of a... <laughs> He's an evil spider, Brian. <laughs> He's an evil spider creature. I don't understand. He's... Who are... Uh, okay, we are calling uh, Patrick. Patrick. Patrick who? Hello? <laughs> Patrick, I don't know how you sleep with yourself at night. Here's the question. How many buttons on a standard size keyboard? No Google. No counting. No looking at your keyboard. Answer. Answer. Answer now. Answer now. Answer now. Uh, 141. 
<laughs> what is wrong with your face? <laughs> All right. Should, should we kick it back to King Leo for the steal? He probably knows. Yes, Justin, we know should. This. All right, just, uh, let's hear it, King Leo. I believe, and I may be wrong, because I may be confusing this with the number of beads on a Tibetan monk's prayer wheel. <laughs> but, I, but I believe that is 108. Justin? Oh, is it 114? <laughs> What else? Get out of here. Hook up. You just, did you hear that ungrateful? Did you hear that ungrateful plebe? He's sitting there. He laughed. You. He laughed in the face of King Leo. I cannot handle this. Listen, this is what happens when the Huns gather at the gate and start yes. graying their disgusting mouth filth at a truly regal individual. <laughs> Look. They're I built you roads. I built you aqueducts. Oh, no, that was the Romans. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's we, I think you're thinking of we rule again. I think you're lost <laughs> yes, in that kingdom, yes. sire. <laughs> that kingdom, by the way, is very ruly. It, it, it really is. I, I need to sleep there that. one day. <laughs> I would love to live there. By the way, uh, okay, so do we? Uh, I guess we'll leave it at one to zero. One oh five. That's right. All right. All right. Is it one oh five? All right. No, we have, we have one uh, more question that we can go to the, to the internet with. And All right. uh, and that will be it. All so right. The internet can't tie it. Wait a minute. Here. Don't I get the first one on this one? Um, you did, but then we kicked it over, and then we kicked it back, and it ended up being a wash. I well, say the last one he got the first one, right? I say it's more. You know, one of mine. Yeah, no, it is Leo's. It is. Leo's. It is Leo. Okay. All right. Go. All right, Leo. Here it goes. All right. Here we go. Uh, Leo, how many cores are in the Intel Extreme Edition i seven nine eight zero X processor? Uh oh. There are four. Cores. Justin, tell me you got it right. Oh, oh no, there are eight. Are there eight? There's, there's not eight. This is. <laughs> I can't it's, be right. You say it's six. There's six. You just gave the answer again. We gotta call the internet. Okay, so we'll call the internet then. Call uh, the internet. Let the internet win. That's okay. No, 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 no. You're my liege. No, you mustn't. <laughs> you mustn't. Because we six. And the i7 extreme. There are six. That must be the new one, huh? All right, Justin, Justin, what I love is Justin, who clearly doesn't know the answer. He's clearly reading it off a website. He, he, he looks up with his knowing like, oh, I'm afraid there I is. I failed this you kept up on your processors and the number of cores, and you know that. <laughs> All right, let's do this last one. Let's kick it to somebody. Uh, you got one more tech question for us, Justin? Because I'm calling somebody. It's time uh, for a blitz quiz. You know quiz. what? We're going to figure it out. Because <laughs> it's... Uh, We'll just leave it to our main man here. Melissa <laughs> chat room is very, very clear about letting you know <laughs> that you didn't do oh, so boy. well. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait for it. Wait. Hello? Oh, that was, that was a little bit weird. Chat room, apparently. What? Squeeze. <laughs> Even your very breathing disgusts me. Please answer this question. What are the power connections to a standard AMD HD 5870 graphics card? Oh, my God. Did you say color connections? <laughs> I, think, I don't think he's going to get this I, one. <laughs> that sounded vaguely racist. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure. I don't know that that's the preferred nomenclature nowadays. What's your final answer, sir? No, could you repeat the question? Yes, repeat the, repeat the question. Uh, what are the power connections to a standard AMD HD 5870 graphics card? And let me state unequivocally, if you get this wrong, Leo wins by default. Oh, thank God. Um, I, I, I believe he's Googling. they are uh, you better? six pin connectors. They're what? Six pin Eight? connectors. Six pin? Six pin connectors? Well, uh, but there are in, yeah, how, four six pin How connectors. many? There are four, four six pin connections, he says. Oh, hit the bricks, revolutionary wannabe. Guess what? By the two sweetest words in the English language, a default, it's gotta be our lead. Once again, crushing those who would oppose him.
Uh, that was the answer. Is it two six bit connect? What pin connections? Yes, it is. Oh my God, he actually got it right. So great is our liege that even when offered the victory, he says, Nay, I will demonstrate my potency all over your brains. <laughs> you names, stop. <laughs> you, you do not defile me with your poor knowledge. Awesome, dude, that, dude. Those were hard questions. Well, I tell you, as deserving of somebody who can handle the rough stuff like you, but you know who I bet is super pissed that you defeated his total trial? Is Tomas Marit, that money-eating, half-spider, voodoo-faced weirdo? I wonder what he would say about this. You're testing my last nerve, Leo. Your pathetic trifles matter not. Supreme victory will still be mine. Hellfire minions, attack! Challenge three. In. And feel free to leave voicemails for the debut episode of Tech News Today at 260-TNT-SHOW. And don't forget to listen on June 1st. Impressions. You heard it from the man himself, the wannabe man, the usurper, <laughs> the, the archduke of douchebaggery, Tomas <laughs> Marit himself. That's the worst voice acting I have ever heard. <laughs> I would like to point out that was entirely like we argued about this earlier and there was no question from Justin that that is exactly how he wanted it read. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of I, friendly. He's a friendly spider. I showed I showed my daughter. Uh, I was like, "Hey, is this funny?" And she's six, and she's just like, "Yeah, Dad, that's funny." Because he looks scary, but he talks real nice. <laughs> oh, see, she got it. She got it. Good. <laughs> All right. How does this How does this challenge work, sir? Well, being a leader of the internet, a king of the internet, you have to also be an ambassador to many, many, many people. So, what we are going to do is have you, Leo, and uh, the internet engage in reading some famous or quotable lines in accents suggested by the chat room. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. This is a case of, you know what, it's important that if you want to relate to the people, you've got to be like a chameleon. Talk their language, And man. wear That's... different masks. You know, yeah, you don't talk, to, you don't talk right. to a nobleman the same way you talk to a peasant working Hell the fields. No. It's like, hey, hello, yo. Governor Chim Chim Chiru. You, you wouldn't talk that way to a nobleman. Chim Chim Chiru, yeah. You wouldn't. You, yeah. Talk that, you talk that way to some guy who's, you know, a chimney sweep or something, chimney sweep, right? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> some so covered Van Dyke Hello, wannabe. Mary Poppins. Uh, then, okay, so let me do this. I'm going yeah. to, uh, by the way, if you want to join us last minute, you guys know the email. You can call us in and we'll call you. But I'm going to call a pretender to the fr throne while Justin hand selects an appropriate face-off quote. While we wait for these guys right here. And Brian stalls slowly. This quiz. Caller, are you there? I'm there. Well, then get ready, sir. All right, uh, you are going to have to engage in impression combat with Leo Laporte. <laughs> I'm going to read you a quote. Uh, are you? Are you have to be watching the show, sir? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Brian, if you can do me a favor and put up the uh, happy about email it, from Ashley, <laughs> Ashley Schuster. Ashley Schuster, you got it. All right, All right. coming right up. There it is. Uh, got it. Got it. Which one you want? The second one. The second one. Done and done. All right, so sir, if you could please watch it on on uh, our live streaming show, and I will read it to you as well. Uh, Brian, this one comes up from here? author of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Scott Adams. I don't know if you're able to see it there. Doug, Doug Douglas Adams. Doug, oh wait, no, this one's Scott Adams. That's a different. That's a different guy. <laughs> this is his, yeah, no, no, no. This is Scott Adams, Dilbert. the creator this of is Dilbert. Dilbert. This is the creator of yes. Hitchhiker's Guide to Dilbert. Uh, yes. Scott. <laughs> Scott Adams. <laughs> All right, chat room, let us hear some situations. We've got Bill Cosby. We've got uh, the, the Techinator. We've got uh, LMAO fail. I think those are talking about me. We've got I think Swedish. Swedish is a good one to start off. Swedish. Swedish. Swedish to you, sir. All right. Uh, there can, it is. Can you read the quote or you want us to read it to you? Uh, you can read it to me. Uh, okay, there are many methods for predicting the future. For example, you can read horoscopes, tea leaves, tarot cards, or crystal balls. Collectively, these methods are known as nutty methods, or you can put well-researched facts into sophisticated computer models, more commonly referred to as a complete waste of time. You must read that quote 
in your best Swedish accent. And I tell you what, I'll even make it nice and big for you so you can read it. Like, yeah, apparently you need some glasses sitting at the internet. All right, there we go. Got it. All right, read no, it in your best Swede. I don't Swede. know how to do a Swedish accent. Well, you know what? You then should have you thought about have that before you... goddamn number, then, should you? <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't have suggested a revolution against a perfectly fine feudal society that has worked for dozens and dozens of days on the internet. You don't usurp our overlord and lord imperator, Leo Laporte. Now, read the freaking quote. But you just made, you just put it away. I can't see it now. It's clearly up on the screen. And go. <laughs> there are many methods for predicting the future. For example, you can read horoscopes, <laughs> tea leaves, tarot cards, or crystal balls. Collectively, <laughs> these methods are known as nutty methods. Or you can put well-researched facts into sophisticated computer models, more commonly referred to as a complete waste of time. <laughs> What you know, the irony you? is that's oh, hey. exactly how Swedish people talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just the cherubs not being kind to him. They decided he's a Swedish leprechaun. It's a very good job, I thought. <laughs> now, it could be that he's reading the Swedish leprechaun, but I say we kick it to our liege, the man himself, hmm. uh, King Leo. Would you regale upon us with a Swedish <laughs> accent? The fine words. <laughs> The key to the Swedish accent, and many people don't know this, is you've got to loosen the lip and have a... Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> there are many methods for predicting the future. For example, you can read horoscopes, tea leaves, tarot cards, or crystal balls. Collectively, these methods are known as Naughty methods, or you could put well researched facts into sophisticated computer models, more commonly referred to as a complete waste of time. Chat room is already weighing in without any question whatsoever. Unequivocally, they have stated Paul Hale, King Leo. And as one, as one person in the chat room says, but Cuba, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we just call this? Or I feel like we should do, you need to establish your dominance. Like, it's not enough. These people, they threatened your kingdom, King Leo. I feel I like you need to crush them beneath your boot heels. Yeah, we really need to drive a... Uh, we need uh, to send a, a message. sword Shade through the heart of this. Yeah, story. between the shoulder blades of your enemies. Yes. All right, done and done. I tell you what, I will find us another of the criminals, of the usurpers. Well, no, you want to know what? I think we should have... Um, we should have Leo do one and then see if the other person can do better. Can beat it. No, good call. Good call. Yeah, All right, I Leo. That's the way to go. Uh, do me a favor, uh, Brian. Can you please bring up Alex McKenzie's email? Got it. And uh, his first quote. All right, you got it. I'm going to actually cut and paste it in here. This one comes over from a little guy you may have heard of named Albert Einstein. <laughs> uh, it's actually Steve Jobs. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. And and the question is, we need we need the chat room to decide for us who should this be. We got we got Jason Calacanis. We're seeing gay German. Uh, Dick D. Bar Bartello. Morgan Freeman. Hebrew. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, Charlie the Unicorn. Foghorn Leghorn. I'm I'm down with Foghorn Leghorn. How about you, Justin? I feel like we maybe need to even add a little twist to Foghorn Leghorn. Like oh, maybe. Jesus. Maybe hard, Foghorn Leghorn at the end of a bender. Uh, oh, like he's drunk at the end of the evening, like right before he passes out, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really rough. Fog Fog around the edges. Fog rough Horn night, Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn, letting us have it. Let's hear it from Steve Jobs. <laughs> I say, I say, I wish him the best. I really do. I just think he and Microsoft are a bit narrow. He'd be a broader guy. I say a broader guy if he had dropped acid once or gone off to an ashram when he was younger. <laughs> Congratulations and celebration. Congratulations. I want to point out that King Leo, for those of you just listening to audio, 
full on leaned over and did the passed out thing. Like he's <laughs> selling it. This uh, guy knows what it takes to you win. Gotta, you gotta, I say you gotta live the word. <laughs> and the chat room is claiming like, uh, they're saying winner by default, but in all fairness, look, this is a proper revolution and we gotta give, you know, the internet it's due. We gotta give them a chance to make it happen. However, I do believe that we should give them another quote and another impression. So please everybody in the chat room, let's come up with uh with with another another impression i agree impression. i agree i'm down with that uh this will be adam and uh it says here call this number and ask for adam which means we may get somebody's mom which will be awkward when i play our intro <laughs> <laughs> hello mom intro is on tonight let's, let's hello, sir. Quiz. All right. Uh, I assume you've been watching the show. If that is the case, please, Brian, bring up Marinus 600's email. Ma Marinus 600's? That's not, oh, that, uh, you know what? I was about to say it's not a real name, but it clearly is a uh, real it name. It certainly is. <laughs> I would, this would have been a very curious time to start lying to you out of both <laughs> right? All right, here we go. We've got it right here. All right, we want to hear this one. Um, uh, in the style of, we got a lot of people asking for Eskimo. We got uh, West Virginian, Kermit the Frog, Eric Cartman, Bill Cosby, Stewie Griffin, Rodney Dangerfield. I, uh, I'm going to let uh, you call all right, it. Here we go. I think that this one, a, an Eskimo who accidentally just murdered his wife. An Eskimo <laughs> who accidentally oh my, oh my God, guys, just committed me. involuntary <laughs> manslaughter. Hey, hey, but first, is this Adam? Is this? Yes, this is Adam 12 oh, from good, the chat room. Right. Okay. Sounded like oh. your mom. I, I wasn't sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in your face, sucker. Of course, King Leo. Of All course, right. King Leo. You just got owned by King Leo, dude. <laughs> I did. I did. It's an honor. It's an absolute honor. All right, here we go. This one is, uh, you've got to read it. Again, it's an Eskimo who, who knows, maybe he had too much to drink and he thought he was teaching her a lesson or maybe he was driving his car and a little slip on the, on the Eskimo ice and he ran her over. Regardless, he's... Very upset, I would imagine, and yeah. Eskimo. Well, re really shaken up, and I'm guessing this. this has something to do with whale oil. Um, so here's the quote. My wife is funny every weekend morning around 9 a.m. She starts getting nervous. Don't you have a national radio show to do? Nah. By uh, King Leo Laporte. <laughs> I, oh, I was boy. actually hiding that so that uh, so keep in mind as you do your disrespectful, hilarious Eskimo voice that you're mocking our liege. The king himself, who already is doing a better Eskimo impression than you ever could. Because that's how this man rolls. Nibbling worm, please go forward with your paltry. Oh, right. my God. Read it, um, Adam. I, go. I can't. You got to put it back on the screen, It's sir. already on, sir. Go. Eskimo. My wife is funny. Every weekend morning around 9 a.m., she starts getting nervous. Don't you have a national radio show to do? Nah! <laughs> <laughs> Judges, can we get a final ruling on this one? Yeah, well, you know, really, when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we owe an honor to lose to you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Get the you, bricks, Adam. Adam. Get the hell out of here. All right. Uh, do you want to give this one a crack? Uh, Eskimo accidentally ran over his wife? I could give it a try. All right. My wife is funny. Every <laughs> Every weekday morning around 9 a.m., she starts getting nervous. Don't you have a national <laughs> radio show to do? Nah. <laughs> I love the fact that Leo added the sociopathic twist to this, where he's just like, he's a little bit happy that he had some business he had to take care of. Maybe it was an nah, accident, but she, she had it coming. Now. <laughs> I'm coming, Weezy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, look, I, I don't know when. I don't know why the Eskimo in this one sounds like the villain in a '70s exploitation film. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds. He actually sounds like Whiplash from Iron Man 2. He's, he's just like, I kill women. Tony Stark, bad man. Uh, well, Brian, you know this means is that he has completed the third trial of Leo Laporte. Oh my goodness. Take that, Tomas Marit, you money-eating <laughs> half-robot weird thing this thing? this means he begins the fourth and most important trial for crying out loud this is the last one there there's only one there's only one more leo that's okay. it you are in the clear if you can I only it should be very obvious only. that i'm 
superior. Well, I think, look, if you ask us, uh, we thought it from the beginning, my liege. There's no doubt that we are your faithful organizers of this event. <laughs> but let's hear from Tomas Marit. You are a true warrior, Laporte, but you'll never complete this last trial. Final trial. Physical challenge. This one appears to be a physical challenge, my liege. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it, if it works. Only alerting all 190,000 of your Twitter followers that, quote, Hey everyone, at Schwood and at Justin R. Young of Pound NSFW Show are hilarious. Follow them immediately, unquote. We'll secure your crown for another century. Big news today, June 1st. Oh, my goodness, my liege. I, I'm i shocked that this would be, uh, that he would cast us in such a light. Fix, there's been some fixing going on I, here. I, I, my liege, I assure uh, you, this is, uh, I mean, look we, at that we, face. We are certainly as surprised as you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm indeed, very, very disappointed in you both. One, one might think that perhaps Tomas Marit concocted this as an opportunity to cast us in a disparaging light. Perhaps this is all part of his plan to make us, your humble, loyal servants, look bad. Hey, Brian, what's your Twitter handle? It's at Schwood. There we go. We even put the quote up there on the screen oh. for you, boss. <laughs> S H W O O D. Hey no, everyone. I know yours actually. It's Justin I need. All right. And uh, Justin R Young. R Y Young. R Y O N G. Oh yeah. R Y O U N G. Like am I young? Yeah, that's right. R Young. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, uh, my liege, uh, we would never, we would never, ever doubt your word or your your integrity or your kindness. Uh, but of course, we 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 will have to verify, thanks to the fine folks at TweetDeck, uh, whether or not... <laughs> oh, you don't believe me? No, eh? no, no. You're on, you're my liege, my liege. This is not, this is not anything. This is not me. This is, this is uh -huh. the, this is the ancient scrolls say it. Uh, uh, but you know what? You have many faithful subjects because look, other people are taking the bullet for you. Doing it. <laughs> look at this, the chants have already risen from spire to spire, town square to town square. They've made their selection, their king, their liege is Leo Laporte. Absolutely, <laughs> my friends. Would uh, you like me to buzz it and Facebook it too? Uh, yeah, my liege, that would truly blow our minds. <laughs> question, <laughs> because if you've been paying attention, you know I have no Facebook account. What are you nuts? Oh no! Oh no! We have angered my liege! Hey, we've angered! We've angered King Leo! <laughs> uh, Pay no attention to Brian Leo, please. <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, by the way, I'm really impressed with the number of people trying to take the bullet for King Leo here. Very, That's very right. classy no, of all of them. And you know what? I don't know. Justin, I'm just going to trust our liege, our king. Oh, to give me a chance. God, you guys, I, I don't type that. Oh, you know that. what? Now would be a good time for us to talk about uh, uh, other uh, housekeeping stuff. First of all, uh, let's do the plugs now instead of at the end of the show. How about that, Justin? Sure, sure. sure. What are you up to these days? Uh, of course, uh, follow me uh, at Justin R. Young, as Leo is tweeting out right now. And the big thing, YouTube dot com slash weird things tv my brand new youtube series that i do with uh with andrew main and, and our weird things.com site please go there right now and subscribe uh i'm having a really really fun time doing it and hopefully you guys enjoy it. all right and you know what i've got nothing because i've not got anything so crass that i would try to commercialize <laughs> <laughs> oh my are, goodness you are truly a piece of garbage <laughs> hey look look oh my goodness it looks as though our liege is truly that's not our liege get out of your gtfo chad uh <laughs> there it is right there oh my liege king leo laporte I believe and you look at this, and also the, the conciliatory effort, one tweet up. Go ahead and go one tweet up. Oh, no, the, because he's so classy, he says here, watch Ace Detect on Tech News Today, debuting on Twitter on June 1st. Oh, my goodness, my liege, King Leo, could not be more impressed with your classy demeanor, your power that you exercise over the Internet. And you know what? I wonder what a certain nefarious usurper would say about such a thing. again what a world what a world 
Tech News Today debuts on June 1st, available on Twit.tv, iTunes, Zoom Marketplace, and Roku set-top boxes. Ah! <laughs> Neo wins flawless <laughs> victory. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've declared our winner. It's been a hell of a journey. But once again, the king, Leo Laporte, reigns supreme. We give you the standing belly clap. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, Leo Laporte retains his ownership. Hey, uh, Leo, you got something you want to plug on the show? This is a big opportunity for you to put the word out on any projects you have going on. Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, for that, that's I guess that's it for this episode of NSFW. We'll see you next Goodbye. Tuesday. Goodbye. We love you guys. <laughs>
Why don't you? Why don't well, you we're rock trying. With us? We're really trying uh, to beef up our news uh, presence. You know, we really want to have strong news. Um, you know, I don't know if you watch the Google I/O coverage, but we're you know we're going to do WWDC like that, and we're going to go to a lot of it. We're going to go to E3. We're going to spend two days covering E3. So we really are trying to beef up the news coverage, and that means getting more people like Tom and Becky, uh, who are, are you know serious news people. In. They're they're vetted in the industry, and yeah. they're well known yeah. as being people who can cover that yeah. kind of thing. You need good tech journalists, and I you know we're trying to get the best, and I think we do have the best actually. Although uh, I and I don't know how much we're able to say. Uh, can we plug the the E3 coverage coming up? Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because you're the star of it. Well, I don't I don't know how much of that is secret and how much of that we could talk about. Um, specifically. No, it's not secret. You know, and, and actually, I'd like to use this opportunity because. I had buzzed that G4 has an exclusive, which they do with IDG for live coverage. They, they're going to do live coverage of E3, I think, all three days starting at 3 or 2 or 3 in the afternoon through 7, like really like wall-to-wall -wall live coverage. So they had an exclusive, and I was, you know, I, I buzzed, geez, I'm sorry, or I tweeted, I'm sorry, I, we're not going to be able to do the live coverage because G4 has got an exclusive, and IDG said, we're sorry, we can't do it. Um, and then G, G3, G4, I mean, reached out to me. No kidding. And, they said, oh, you know, what can we do? Let's figure this out. So they're going to, believe it or not, yeah, G4 was actually really good about it. They said, no, no problem. You want to stream live, uh, you stream live until we go on the air. All we ask is that you interview uh, some G4 people. Done. Yeah, of course. You know, right. So Morgan's an old friend and Adam's an old friend. And, uh, and they said, interview some G4 people and plug that we're coming up after you're done. I said, I think I could do that. Oh, my God, so this is great. This is the guy. That, that, really that is, that is super, so super we, classy so, by G4. And, and then the other thing I haven't told you yet, Brian, because we, uh, we just found out from our ad agency that you know, we're, Ford is going to sponsor our coverage. Oh, fantastic. And, um, they want to do two days. So we're going to come out Sunday night and do Monday, do the press conferences. And then Tuesday, do uh, from the show floor. So if you can get there Monday, do. I can't. I can't actually because uh, what's funny is I had actually dis uh, when, when I because I'm shooting Scam School the week before. Oh, and you're so in I, San Francisco. So I decided just to hang around until Monday sure. and head down. I was going to do Twit since I would be there. But if we, if we, if, if we can use, if you can use me, then yeah, I'll come down on Sunday. Come do Twit. We're going to fly. Come to Twit on Sunday. We're going to immediately go to the airport, fly to L.A., oh. join us. And uh, now here's the bad news. Uh -oh. I just looked at hotels. There are no good hotels left in Los Angeles. Well, that's, uh, to be honest, I, I don't mind, you, you know, I've got a show the next day in Washington, D.C., so I've got all my trunks and stuff. So what I usually do is rent a car. I'm used to driving everywhere. So it's like, I don't mind getting a, getting a, you know, a Motel 6, you know, 20 minutes away from the convention center yeah, and just driving doing, in. We might be staying at a Motel 6. That's um, fine we're, with me. We're contacting the ESA to see if they have any, you know, the, a lot of times trade shows have reserved rooms and if, see if they have any rooms that they can uh, let us use because other, because otherwise it is, it's like a motel six in, you know, out of town. Yeah. That's, it's, and again, that's totally fine with me. Can I, can I tell you, here's the weird thing. I get weirdly uncomfortable when I stay in, in nice four star hotels. Like I am most comfortable at the, every time we go and we do scam school, I stay at the Howard Johnson right by the San Francisco airport because they're they've kidding. Got, oh no, because, because it's like, Everything when you're downtown in a fancy area is hard to find stuff. Like like I know there's a Walgreens right nearby, and I know they got free breakfast every morning. And it's like I would rather drive the 15 minutes into town or 20 minutes into town rather than stay in a fancy place. So don't worry about it. Well, you you know you travel more than anybody, you know. So if that's what you know rocks your boat, I like to stay in a nice <laughs> hotel. I was a little. I'll tell you what, well, Leo, plus, you you have no idea how much when like normal people are around Brian that his just road warrior mentality just kind of you know shows out in weird places well did you get, really get like a cup of noodle soup and crush it and just eat it which is just the sign <laughs> of a man who doesn't have enough time to oh eat God, cup of noodle horrible. soup oh my I, was, God. I was with brian last time we were in la when we were doing the magic castle uh all of a sudden we go to wendy's and he picks up a thing of chili and just starts drinking it just like a oh. cup of coffee <laughs> You well, know, because when right you're driving, you can't use a spoon or whatever. No, you gotta, you gotta, yeah. Spoon. You drink sure. the, drink the chili. And it's just one of those things where, like, like him and Chad are just next to other, and like, this is. I mean, they've been on the road for three weeks at this point. This is the least strange thing ever right. to the planet. And I'm like, <laughs> right. like, it's as if somebody just started eating with their feet, like they had their utensils. And they're like, what? <laughs> What's the problem? What's the problem, guys? It's a problem. This is how we eat. Well, so <laughs> what, what I was saying, the other thing, Leo, is is I'm very conscious because, and I think it comes from the fact for the last ten years, I've always paid my own bill for every hotel I've ever stayed right. at because I'm on so the road. You're, you're, it's out of my own budget. 
So right. I, I get really weirdly self-conscious, especially like if it's a giant corporation, I don't care. It's like, yeah, book me fancy hotel. But it's like, like I know you. It's like you're a real well, person. It's, it's literally out of my pocket. Exactly. And so and so, so it, it changes things where it's just like, it's like, hey, you know, no, let me figure out the cheapest you know, way to make this It's part of the cost of doing business. I'm really glad to put you up in a nice hotel. I apologize because I don't know if there is one. Well, but I'll tell you. Like, I don't have any problem with doing I that. I honestly would rather have a cheaper hotel and a rental car than take a cab and stay at a nicer hotel. Because, okay. And that's all just right. because I got so much gear for all the magic junk that I take with. Yeah. Well, you have it. So you're going to have a car there. Yeah. Well, okay. If it's okay with you, I guess I will now <laughs> as long yeah. as well, I, we'll that's cleared. Yeah, we'll okay. get your car. Well, good. And, uh, and uh, you know what? We might have to have a car anyway because, as I said, we're, I don't know how close to town we're going to be. Well, and that's fine. By the way, I've started getting the invites the, because I'm on the media list now. And uh, you, you have no idea. I, did I ever tell you about how I originally started going to E3? 15 no. years ago, I made up a company name, uh, Logan Inject One, which was this bizarre mashup. Like we were testing kind of like the YouTube translation thing. We just said a bunch of nonsense words into the speech to text and Logan Inject One came up. So I decided that was the name of my company. And so we that's drove, so funny. we drove 14 hours to Atlanta. This oh, is back when it was cute. in Atlanta and, uh, and pretended to be Logan Inject One. And they would ask us what our company does. We had, you know, had to come up with elaborate lies and everything. Uh, so excited. But anyway, I've started getting the invites since I'm on the press list now, uh, you know, to go see. And, you know, it's I can't, exciting. I can't huh? say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me Do you know you. what E3 stands for? The Electronics Entertainment Expo. Very good. Or it was uh, it was started by my good friend Gina Smith, who was the editor in chief of a magazine called E3, which did not stand for Electronic Entertainment Expo. What did it stand for? Um, it's a good question. I wonder if I can find it. <laughs> I wish you hadn't asked that, Brian. I'll you, know, your head. you know what? That's why I was asking. Cause it, but anyway, G yeah, Gina started it, uh, and I remember when she was putting it together, and I guess it was right around that time. Um, huh. Well, I don't know. That'd be a good question for the uh, chat, audience. Chat room what? is speculating everyone eats eel. <laughs> that's it. That could that's be it. a very popular, a very popular, I just poured a uh, drink all over my keyboard. <laughs> I think it was the three things they covered with electronics, entertainment, and... Uh, eternally eerie elephants, the evil eye of Eeyore. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> enjoys enemas. <laughs> oh, here it is. Are you ready? Get yeah. ready for this. All right, what is it? That can't be right. Uh -oh. The epitome of everything entertainment? Maybe. Oh, well, I read that as one of the joke ones. Is that real? <laughs> I think that's actually what it was. And then they started E3, the trade show, and that's when they came up with... Electronics Entertainment Expo. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. I'll have, you know what? I will call Gina and ask her because I, I can't remember. She, you know, since then, she's had a really interesting career. She was editor. She, she did a radio show with me. That was after Dvorak left on computers. She was my co-host. And then she and I wrote my first book together, which was called, um, well, we wanted to call it, How Do You Get the Dog Hair Out of the Disk Drive? But, <laughs> so we had, <laughs> which I think is a good name. <laughs> but uh, we ended up calling something 101 Questions You Need to Know, which was a ter terrible name as it turned out because Kim Commando, at exactly the same time, came. ours was called 101 Computer Answers You Need to Know. She came out with 1,001 Answers to Your Computer Questions. So it was oh, like we'd lost. We, so we had one it was, tenth it's, the It's number. the knowledge inflation index that she crushed exactly. you on. <laughs> right. well, who, who doesn't remember that, that information arms race? You know, <laughs> oh, it was a it was dark awful. time. How thick everybody. the book was was how much, you know. So how well it sold. So anyway, and then she worked at, she, she had Becky's job at GMA. She was the ABC uh, technology correspondent. She ran a, a company called Think Nick for Larry Ellison's Oracle. It was a, a thin PC, very much like netbooks. And uh, then she wrote Wozniak's, uh, co-wrote Wozniak's biography, uh, I Was. That's the last thing she did. But anyway, I'll ask her because oh. she's on my email. I'll say, what did E3 stand for? Awesome. Well, let me tell you, I, I could not be more excited, uh, both on a personal level and on the opportunity. It's going to be fun. To, yeah, and then and you're going to do Dragon really, Con with us, right? Yes, yes, indeed. And and uh, uh, Ace Detect, uh, this this guy right here, well, every time I mention Tom Merritt, that's, that's what I'm going to... From gonna, now on, that's his headshot. Hold on, let me actually fix this here. We got, uh, it's currently got a problem with it. Maybe I can fix it. So what it. is this? It says it's from uh, something in Emily.com. What is that? Uh, you know what it is, is that was originally from a video game on the Dreamcast back in the oh, day, I and somebody, I guess, uh, two guys, Tom and Emily, or whatever their names are, uh, they uh, they videotaped themselves doing crazy stuff when they did the boss, like they controlled the boss and they tried right. to kill themselves right. instead. But, uh, but 
Well, look, uh, TSS Olic wants to know if that is the new TNT album art. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <Armor denied. laughs> you know what? I think April April Fools. It might be. That's hysterical. <laughs> oh my God! Well, wait, let's get that one there. <laughs> there ah, go. that's scary. <laughs> I like how he has a hole for a nose. That's really scary. <laughs> oh, uh, no, absolutely. And absolutely. Why, is, why are dollar bills coming out of his mouth? He likes to eat money. Like, if you watch, like, that's that's why we picked it, because his background is all safes. And watch this. <laughs> ah! Oh, we've covered it up with a bunch of other stuff. But he's but eating yeah. money. Well, yeah, geez, and Leo, who, whose money do you think it is? You're the one who it's hired my him. money, it's man. <laughs> he's eating my money. <laughs> I don't want us to pay him. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I say we wrap things up here. Uh, with your permission, I think we should add this, like, after the break and keep this be the rest of the NSFW show because I think people oh, are into it. If you want. If you want to hear boring anecdotes from an old fart named Leo, sure. Well, you know what? Uh, apparently, a lot of people on the Twit Network like hearing the Leo anecdotes. So we yeah. want to cash in on some of that biz if we can. I'm, I'm turning an old man. I'm starting to repeat myself. No, I gotta, no, I gotta, no, gotta no, keep, no, no. Keep notes on what I've told you, youngsters. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, look, that'll be the real end to the show. So thank you very much, Leo, as always. It was awesome. I'll Goodbye. see you. I'll see you next Tuesday. But Cuba. But Cuba. So let's try let's try a uh, half and half tease where it's like I'll start it off and then I'll toss it to you. Sure. Maybe uh, um, uh, uh, I'll say coming up on this episode of NSFW you, we, and then you say something and I say a bizarre animal seems to die on my forehead, and then you're blah, blah, blah. No, like, let's not do it. That, that seems too like domestic partner answering machine. All right. If we're like, going back and forth. Hi, you've reached Brian. And Justin. <laughs> Leave a message. <laughs> no.